I told our players to, uh, we always, whenever we grab a hand at the end of a game, say, uh, be extremely grateful for uh, the blessings to play this great game at the level they can play it, where they play it at, because I just made a point that our student body, once again, was out there in full force and even stuck around. I even looked up there in the end of the game and they were still there. So we're very grateful for that. And then the final part is just who they play with. I think we have a good bunch of players that care about each other and, and uh, get ready for a big week. So I thought our defense came out and played really well. Uh, a little disappointed in red zone offense. There are a couple of field goals I could have probably kicked, but or uh, we could have went for. But I just I, I still want to put a lot of pressure on our offensive line and quarterback in those kind of situations because we know they're coming down the road. So with that, I said I'll answer any questions for you. Front row right, Clay. <clears throat> Not to discount what JT did, but you put Cardell in, he got some meaningful yeah. minutes, and he, he contributed big time. I mean, the, the tackle, the two TD passes, he hurdled the guy. And then what you're doing with uh, Jalen Marshall, direct, took a direct snap 30 Yeah, years. I think we got, you know, we've been working on Jalen playing quarterback, uh, first because he's very talented, second of all, because whenever you start getting, uh, you know, uh, you hear these stories. I've never been down to our third, fourth string quarterback, but you're always trying to be ready in case something happens, and he's a gifted guy. Uh, so we're going to expand his package each week. Uh, but uh, JT missed a couple wide open guys early in that game, and but I was really uh, impressed by the way he came back and we did, he made some very good plays in the second quarter. So uh, uh, and Cardell, uh, I think that was the first time we let him play. You know, usually he gets in there, we just kind of mush around, and uh, he was in there with some really young linemen and still moved the ball. So I thought he did very well. Front row left, uh, Bill. How hard really was it to focus on this, knowing what you've got next week, and how quickly are you, have you turned the page already? Well, it depends what kind of team you have. I didn't feel it was hard at all, um, partially because we didn't play very well the week before on offense. And uh, defense is still a work in progress. They're playing pretty good. But offensively, a week ago, we, we had hard practices. You know, We uh, expect much more out of our offense line than we got in State College. So. Um, I didn't feel it one bit, uh, yeah, but now I'll focus, obviously, on this week. Front row right. Tim? Yeah, Urban, why did uh, Curtis Samuel start the game instead of Ezekiel Elliott? And what did you see out of Curtis Samuel that uh, kind of caught this your eye? This is a week of practice. You know, uh, that's the, there's nothing quite like competition. And uh, those two guys, um, uh, I don't micromanage that position. I, I certainly get into, I, I listen and give my opinions. Uh, but uh, Stan Drayton came to me middle of the week and said, you know, uh, I'd like to start Curtis Samuel this week. He's doing everything right, and uh, practice is extremely high level. And uh, we still have great confidence in Zeke, but uh, we have two, uh, two guys who can play. Far left, Austin. Urban, it seemed like not just JT, but a lot of starters were out very early in the second half, earlier than maybe you have normally done in some yeah. blows. Is that a, next week? I mean, is that the Well, it's this time of year you're getting a little thin, you know, uh, you know with uh, the tailback situation, Briante Dunn's not back yet, and I started, you know, we, I, I, that was that position. And same thing at the uh, offensive line, you're getting very thin at some spots. So, um, yeah, we usually let you go in the middle of the third quarter, we'll pull you out. But we made a decision to get guys out a little earlier. Does JT's knee factor in that as well? Oh, we just end that, and we wanted Cardell to play. I was going to go right before we uh, started to go out at halftime. I, we were going to let him go one more series, and then, uh, um, then I just, you know, I got feelings to get him out of that game. A little bit of the knee, because obviously time away from that injury heals it. And uh, I mean, it's, he's, he's fine, ready to go, but just smart thing to do, I think. Middle front, Todd. Urban, last two weeks, JT hasn't been real sharp throwing the ball. Are you comfortable with where your, your throw game is going into East Lansing? No, not yet. You know, I, was, I liked the way he finished his, uh, the two minute drill. He had two good passes. You know, one was a, a corner route to, um, Dontre Wilson and then the touchdown pass to the tight end. So, uh, no, we're not 100% not there. And uh, we're going to work real hard at the practice. You know, I thought we had opportunities early in that game to hit some wide open guys. And we just misfired. And I, whenever a quarterback throws high, it means the adrenaline, you know, he was kind of juiced up. And, and, uh, and Tom Herman, uh, you know, I just listen to the way he coaches them. And, and uh, we, we have a lot of confidence, but that's one of the reasons we kept trying to put him in those situations to get some more confidence. And he left the, left the game at halftime feeling very confident. What percentage is he helping us? Is he 100%? Oh, I think he's pretty close. And final questions, far left, Doug. 
Urban, now that this game with Michigan State is here, with the way things went down last year, what was at stake when you guys lost that game? Do you feel like, do you think that has stuck with your guys now that you get another shot at Michigan State? We've not talked about it much, you know, in the offseason when, you know, our coach, strength coach, Coach Mick, does a little motivational stuff about uh, how that was kind of, um, you know, uh, obviously the dream was ripped away from us, uh, ripped away by a very good team, and we're going to face a very good team that we have a lot of respect for. So it's all about the most prepared team. That's what's going to win this game. And, and I don't think there'll be a whole lot of necessary, you know, we'll do our part about uh, motivation and but that, I, I, this is a motivated team and and I think the most prepared team will win it